Hi everyone, Aiden here with eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Rocky Mounts monorail on our 2020 Toyota RAV4. The monorail is a platform style bike rack that holds the bike in these trays with these wheel cradles and primarily by our front tire using this wheel hook. That's going to mean there is no frame contact over the bike rack, making it good for carbon frame and alternative frame bikes. And with the 60 pound weight capacity per bike, it's going to be good for some e-bikes too with that battery removed. Getting the bike unloaded is pretty straightforward. I'm going to touch on that in just a bit. But with the platform style rack, you have the ability to tilt away with the bikes loaded. So you don't have to unload it just to get hatch access. There's a handle at the bottom that you can squeeze, tilt the rack down, and it does give a pretty strong tilt, giving us plenty of room to open up that hatch and get something out of the back if we need to, or just have a place to sit and change our shoes before or after our ride. You can see there's tons of room for me to do that. Nice and easy. I'll get this closed up. And then all you gotta do is just lift the bike rack back up into place and you'll hear that handle snap back in, letting us know it's locked in, ready to drive. Just like that. So for unloading it, we can start off with our back wheel strap. That's our secondary point of contact, just holding the back wheel down. We've got a blue button that will press in and remove the ratcheting strap. Pretty straightforward. And then for the handle, or for the hook, we've got a blue handle that we can squeeze, push up and out. And then all you have to do is lift the bike up and away. Now because that arm swings fully out of the way, there's really no obstructions to load or unload the bike. Something like a center mast on a platform rack would be an example of something in the way. This rack doesn't have any of those. I always like to replace the strap and point out that this back cradle does pivot to accommodate for different wheel bases. This front cradle folds up and the hook, I like to just tuck behind that cradle just to keep it in place nice and compact. And from here, we can check out some measurements, starting with our ground clearance. At the back end, the lowest point is gonna be 19 inches from the ground. There's a really good rise in the shank here so even though our hitch is a bit lower to the ground, we still get good ground clearance, and I don't think you should have to worry about bottoming out with this. The distance added to the back is gonna be coming in right about 30 inches to the outermost point of the arm right here, which isn't too bad, pretty condensed compared to some other racks out there, but you can save some space by folding it up. Using that same handle as before, give it a squeeze, fold it up, and you can see now it's only sticking out 11 inches to the outermost point right here. So it's a lot more condensed, easier to pull into a parking space or maybe even your garage at home, depending on the room you have. It does come fairly close to the bumper at the closest point being an inch and a half away, but it is a very solid rack. Front to back, there's no movement at all. So I'm not worried about vehicle contact. Moving down the rack, we can see right here is our lock for our cable lock that just wraps around the post and locks up with this core right here so you can secure the bikes to the rack. And then in towards the hitch, we've got it key to like with our hitch lock. That's gonna keep things key to like, nice and easy to use. And it's working with our two inch by two inch receiver tube. And that hitch pin is an anti-rattle bolt as well, keeping things nice and solid in the hitch. And overall, the monorails are a really solid bike rack. It's got a lot of nice features, easy to use, and works with a wide range of bikes. I'd say if you're in the market for a bike rack like this, you could maybe also check out the Kuat Sherpa. That's not going to have a 60 pound capacity. It's a little bit lighter at 40 pounds per bike, but if you don't need it for e-bikes, then no worries. It has a bit nicer build quality with nicer materials, just a little bit smoother operation but it doesn't give you as much clearance as the monorail does. It doesn't tilt away as far, so you might run into hatch clearance issues. So just be aware of that if you do choose to go that route. Either way you go though, I think they're gonna be a strong fit for the RAV4 and be a really good bike rack for your bikes. Thanks for watching. Here it is on our test course. We'll start by going through the slalom. This is gonna show us the side to side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Next, we're at the alternating speed bumps, 
which will see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or pothole or driving over uneven pavement. And finally, we have the full speed bumps where we'll see the up and down action, which is just like driving out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway.